Good morning, good morning. Not sure if you can hear it over my shoulder, but it is a beautiful rainy day out today. Now, I'm going to uh, kind of put this in a weather sort of thing just to start it off because I think a lot of times we would look at the year 2020 like a rainy day. Most of the time we want to have sunshine, you know, uh, perfect conditions, things like that, but rain is necessary. And as hard as it can be to look at, 2020 may have been very necessary. I know personally for me, without the pandemic, my life as a parent would be possibly much different. And where I've landed now because of it uh, with my children's mother is act actually in a much better place. Uh, the pandemic forced us to work together and, um, and we're, better, we're better off for it as are our children. Um, I understand that it's been a hard year for, as far as the pandemic, people losing loved ones, things like that, but people lose loved ones every year to um, some form of illness, sickness, um, and beyond. Um, and we can talk about mental um, health as well. We can just talk about addiction. There's so many things that people have lost people every year over that seems like it could be controlled. I know the big argument is mask, no mask, vaccine. Is it real? Isn't it real? But here's the thing, COVID didn't spread itself. We did. And for those of you who don't believe, that's fine. But there's, you can say the same thing for um, the flu. You can say the same thing for, you know, a variety of things that we ourselves allow ourselves to be put in line with or are willing to spread to other people. So um, COVID didn't spread itself. We can't just throw up a middle finger and say, that's your fault, COVID. That's not how it works. Um, and if we are not of the mind that this is real, I'm sure we can all agree that this has hit people in the economy sense and finances that is very real. So again, we can certainly say, yeah, F you, you know, 2020, or we can start to appreciate how good we have had it and for how long. And still, in a lot of ways, we are still way better off than a lot of other areas in this country and in the world. Uh, I do feel for the people who lost their jobs. I've been super fortunate to still be uh, employed, to still have my health. I, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm speaking from a place of privilege um, to not have had anybody that I know lost to this. But again, we still can be grateful for the things that we still have while surviving really trying times. I hope it I hope it sets in. I hope it gives us a place to say, you know what? Yes, I do want to get on to 2021. I get all that, but we can't blame 2020 for just all of our problems. And we certainly can't lay it at the feet of our politicians. We can't lay it at the feet of our athletes and entertainers and the people we follow on social media to now guide us through this. No, we there are more of us. We, what do they what do they say the elite are? 1 or 2%? So that means there's a whole bunch of us out here that have to take it upon ourselves to start treating one another better, treating ourselves better, start with there, and then we, will, we can treat other people better. Whether we have empathy for their climate in, you know, in social terms, as far as equalities, whether we are willing or not willing to believe that this pandemic is real, still considering other people's healths and um, just, things that go on around us that we certainly have control over as individuals and collectively as a society to improve upon. It uh, goes along the lines of the old saying, be the, the good in the world, the change in the world that you want to see. So be that. We can all be that. And we can all, uh, we can all really chip in. Um, I hope this helps. Um, I hope it gives just a little food for thought. Feel free to uh, reply, share, or just go out and be that change. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.